Why Mullen is on the short sale restriction list again in today's video, we will cover recent highlights about Mullen Automotive and what the short sale restriction means for Mullen stock. If all sounds interesting make sure to like and subscribe. Shares of electric vehicle startup Mullen Automotive triggered the SEC circuit breaker related to short sales on Monday, which resulted in MULN stock being added to the short sale restriction list. This means that investors are no longer allowed to sell MULN shares short unless the stock price increases during that trade. Studies conducted in academia have indicated that these rules requiring an uptick in the stock price have been successful in preventing bear raids on certain high-risk stocks. Mullen and the short sale restriction lists the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission implemented short sale restrictions in 1938 to prevent speculative selling that can trigger panic. These rules include circuit breakers that activate when a stock drops 10% below its previous close and they remain in place for the current trading day and the next. During this period, short sellers are required to wait until the share prices rise before conducting any short sale transactions. Due to a drop in Mullen Automotive stock price this week, the company has been added to the restricted list, alongside other firms. If Mullen's stock price drops by another 10% this week, the uptick rule will remain in effect. This is not the first time Mullen Automotive has triggered this circuit breaker. Since January, the California-based startup has triggered short sale restrictions at least 10 times, most recently on March 10, Mullen Automotive is still experiencing high volatility, with its stock moving an average of 6% from its previous close on a daily basis during the same period. What does the SSR mean for MULN stock? At first glance, being added to the SSR list may seem beneficial for Mullen Automotive stock, as it becomes harder to short, which reduces the likelihood of sudden price declines. Bullish traders may also cause a short squeeze. However, these benefits are overshadowed by long-term concerns. Frequent 10% declines are indicative of trading inefficiencies and a lack of clear direction. Moreover, Mullen's weak financial position exacerbates its choppy trading. Recent events, such as the unexpected resignation of Mullen's chief accounting officer on March 6, which caused a 5% drop in the stock price, and an auditor change the week before, reinforce these concerns. Additionally, Mullen shares are likely to decline further as insiders plan to sell around 2.49 billion shares, which is significantly more than the 2.1 billion outstanding shares. Furthermore, Mullen's management will have to issue more shares for cash in the coming quarters as reserves deplete, with the company burning through approximately $33 million in operating activities per quarter as of December 2022. At this rate, its $68.1 million cash on hand would be depleted within six months. Despite management's extreme efforts to release positive press, the market continues to push down Mullen's stock, reflecting these underlying concerns. What's next for MULN stock? Similar to what happened with Metamaterials' preferred shares, Mullen Automotive is facing a tough situation where it is unlikely to see a rise in its stock without reverse splitting its shares. Despite management's efforts to keep up positive press releases, Mullen's stock has continued to decline, making it increasingly clear that the company is running out of viable options. In fact, a major creditor recently sued Mullen for bad faith, further reducing its options. Although the SEC's short sale restriction list has temporarily stabilized the share price, it does not solve Mullen's longer-term issues. Investors should be cautious.